Hello guys, welcome to Korean Papsang. Today we'll be making simple dumplings with the zucchinis. These dumplings are a summer dish in Korea when the zucchinis are abundant and taste best. These dumplings were part of Korean royal cuisine and traditionally served cold. To help me make dumplings, I have two special guests here today with me. They are Cami and Gracie. They are my neighbors of 18 years and I'm so excited to have them with me today. Thank you for having us. We're so excited to help out. Let's get started. So I'm using two Korean zucchinis from my garden. Uh, these are called ehobak, meaning baby squash, but you can always use uh, green zucchinis or gray zucchinis. There are two ways to cut zucchinis into uh, matchsticks for this dish. And one way is easy way. Just cut zucchinis into thin slices. And then cut into matchsticks. Like that. These are good length, but if you're beginners, it will be easier to fold the dumplings with the shorter ingredients. So this is getting kind of big. What I'm doing here is cutting the disc in half and then cutting to match sticks. So it's shorter this way. Another way to cut the zucchini, this is a Korean traditional way, cut into usually about a two inch length. So what I'm doing here is cutting zucchinis as if I'm peeling the skin. In Korean, this is called dolyokkaki, meaning you cut while turning. So even if this breaks for you, that's fine. You can always pick it up because we, we're gonna thinly slice anyway. Short pieces are fine. But what this does is we're cutting around the seedy and, and soft part inside. So then what you do is thinly slice this. So you see the texture of this versus this? Yeah. For these dumplings, we don't really chop the zucchinis. And zucchinis are always a julienne like this. Thinner is the better. Okay, so now we're gonna salt this. You're gonna need about, what, a, a teaspoon or so? It really depends on your salt. If you're using finer salt, maybe you should be a little bit light-handed. So just mix it all up to evenly distribute salt. And we're just gonna let this hang out until they um, get salted and release some liquid. Okay, now the mushrooms. I have two dried mushrooms that have been rehydrated. These took a couple of hours, but depending on your mushrooms, it can take longer. You can certainly use fresh mushrooms too, but because of a concentrated flavor that dried mushrooms have and the meaty texture, traditionally Koreans use dried mushrooms for this type of dish. These are uh, called pyogobasat in Korean. They're known as the shiitake mushrooms in, in America. These are quite thick, so I am going to uh, show you how you can slice it up before cutting into matchsticks. Just slice diagonally a couple of times to make it into a thin, thin sheets like that. And then cut these thinly. On my website, I have a zucchini dumpling recipe that's inspired by Korean temple cuisine, which is plant-based. But for our special guests here today, I'm adding uh, some beef. So I have minced like four ounces of uh, beef here. Now we're gonna season this. We're gonna season the meat and mushrooms together. And if you are not using any meat, then use more mushrooms. Okay, I'm gonna use two teaspoons of soy sauce. And then maybe one half teaspoon sugar, adjust your taste. But this will taste like a bulgogi flavor. You guys love bulgogi, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. And a teaspoon of sesame oil, and a eh, half teaspoon garlic, and a pinch or two pepper. So just mix it. 
I like to season the filling ingredients lightly because when they are all combined together, it can get salty. And plus you wanna be able to dip in the sauce, right? Okay, the zucchini has been salted very well. It's uh, see how much liquid it released. And we're gonna squeeze this to uh, remove excess moisture. So you can put this in a like cheesecloth or something to do it, but I generally just squeeze between my hands like this. Still has lots of water. Do you recommend using other vegetables other than zucchini? Oh yeah, so in Korea, traditionally, uh, there's also uh, the type that's made with cucumbers. You do the same thing, or you can mix the zucchini with cucumbers. And another thing that's popular uh, in this type of uh, dumplings is bean sprouts. For that, you just have to like blanch it in boiling water briefly, okay. and then do the same thing, squeeze out and chop. If you want to add some slice, the new sliced onions, that would be good too. So you can make this actually. Because they are all really oh, available. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I read a recipe, I can't get it. But if I watch someone, yeah. then I can see it. This is why I do videos because yeah. some people uh -huh. are so visual. Now we're gonna cook the zucchini in the uh, mushroom and meat mixture. So to turn the heat on, so we're just gonna cook this over high heat very quickly. You can use regular cooking oil, but I'm using sesame oil here. Perilla seed oil is also used for this type of dish. So the thing about this type of dumplings is that all the filling ingredients are pretty cooked. So there's really not much to cook other than the skins when you steam or boil the dumplings. And this will further dry off the moisture in the uh, in the zucchini. And by, by doing this, it also uh, enhances the flavor too. See, it's very different from typical dumpling uh, filling where uh, we just chop everything up and mince everything up and add some ingredients to bind everything together. No, this is gonna be all very nicely loose and you'll be able to taste the, uh, the delicious zucchini. When the zucchinis are cooked, they will turn slightly translucent and that's when it's done. I mean, this is getting there. All right, this is done. Okay, so we're gonna transfer this into a larger plate. While uh, that's cooling, we're gonna cook the meat. This too won't take that long to cook. You can use a little bit of oil. I'm just gonna use my sesame oil for this. Okay, this too is done. Okay, this is Nicely cool. So I'm gonna combine the filling ingredients together. So really there's nothing to it. That's it. Get in there, mix it all up. Are you ready to wrap some dumplings? Yes, I'm so excited. Okay. We're using store-bought dumpling wrappers today. They tend to be dry, so you need to uh, wet the edges. So the easiest one is to just fold it in ha into a half moon shape like this and just close it, pushing the ingredients in with your index finger there. And pinch tightly to close the seams. The next, I'll show you how to make some pleats. So just pinch it in the middle, push part in to make a pleat, right? And then pinch it there. And if you're gonna do another one, go for it, like that. Another one, like that. So we made three this side. And then this time, you're gonna just have to change your hand and push it from the left. And let the middle one meet that middle one pleated already. And then pinch it together. And then bring another one in and pinch it. So this has uh, quite a few pleats. So I'm gonna show you how to make square shaped dumplings. And um, because of how it's shaped, it's called pyeonsu. So you really need to wet the edges. Okay, and then we're gonna bring all, this, all these four corners up to the middle. Okay, 
squeeze it to close and then bring this up and squeeze to close right and then just pinch the seams to close tightly and then do the same thing bring this up to the middle and pinch it together and just close the rest hey you want to try yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at how beautiful these are. So uh, we'll steam some, and then I will also show you how to boil them. Our water is boiling, and I, uh, my steamer is lined. So we're gonna put a few in here. Remember the filling is uh, fully cooked. So we just need a few minutes for the, um, the skins to cook. So remember I said uh, that these dumplings are served cold. So what we do, this is a uh, bowl of cold water, and I'm going to plunge these dumplings into the cold water to cool them. Just depending on how, how cold you want it, uh, this to be, you can just leave it uh, for a minute or two. Uh, while the water is boiling, uh, we're going to make a dipping sauce. And um, I really like a simple dipping sauce for uh, these dumplings. So what I all, all I need is like a tablespoon of soy sauce. Okay, we're just gonna use the same amount of water, a tablespoon, to dilute it, and add some vinegar. And really, it's up to you. You can put all the way up to tablespoon, but I generally just use a teaspoon. You can completely omit sugar or just add a little bit to. Uh, sweeten it a little bit. So our water is boiling, we're gonna add dumplings, but uh, to reduce the heat a little bit because we don't wanna boil these dumplings um, in a rapid boil because they may break. And again, all we need to do is just cook the skins. Okay, so these dumplings have cooled, so let's plate them. Aren't they gorgeous? They look, they look yeah. Beautiful, look at this. Are you excited to try this? Yeah, <laughs> we're so excited. Let's go for it. It's too slippery. I can't uh -oh. grab it. Mm. It's really good. They're amazing. <laughs> you like them? Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, guys, these are delicious. Hope you try your hand at making these dumplings while summer zucchinis are still here. Thank you guys for coming over and helping me with these dumplings. No problem. It was so fun. Thank you for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more recipes from Korean Hapsa. Until next time, 안녕히 계세요.